In this video, we will cover the installation process of the Premium Interior Slingshot LED Lighting Kit by XK Glow. Note that some features and accessories shown may not be present on all models and may not represent production vehicles. Ensure the vehicle is parked on a flat and level surface. Confirm the vehicle is in neutral with the parking brake fully engaged. Then remove the key fob from the vehicle. Next, to lift the hood, begin by pulling the hood release lever upward to disengage the four hood latches. Then pull the hood upward and forward, ensuring it's in the proper up position. To disconnect the battery, start by identifying the battery location on the right side of the engine bay. Then, remove the negative battery terminal bolt and disconnect the negative battery cable. Be sure to always chalk at least one of the front tires with the wheel chalk on both the front and the back side of the tire. Then, safely elevate the vehicle. Reference your owner's manual for proper lifting techniques. To remove the wind deflector, start by removing and keeping the three fasteners from the base of the wind deflector. If equipped, remove and keep the screw, washer, and o-ring from the center wind deflector mount. Finally, remove the wind deflector and carefully set aside. To remove the mirrors, start by removing and keeping the two mounting screws. Next, remove and carefully set aside mirror assembly. You may have to loosen and rotate the mirrors for screw access. Repeat this process on the opposite mirror. To remove the upper dash, Begin by removing and keeping the upper dash painted panels, if equipped, by lifting from the front edges to release the clips. To remove the side trim panels, remove and keep the two screws and two push pin rivets from the side trim panel. Next, remove the side trim panel and set aside. To remove the upper dash panel, start by removing and retaining the eight screws from the upper dash panel. Additionally, remove the two center push pin rivets underneath the upper dash. Push pin orientation may differ based on vehicle and model year. Check your owner's manual for correct placement. If equipped, tweeter speakers can be disconnected or left in the dash assembly as long as they are disconnected at the front of the panel from the main vehicle harness. Use a flathead screwdriver for speaker connector removal. Next, lift the front edge of the upper dash panel to release clips, then lift off upper dash panel and set it aside. To remove the center console and display, begin by removing and retaining the two push pins from the center console trim. Next, Remove the center console trim. Then, remove and keep the two display center fasteners. Move the display center away from the mounting position and disconnect the wiring. Follow by removing the display center. Finally, Press the tabs on the back of the switch panel to remove the switch bezel. Remove the switch retainer. To install the LED and Bluetooth controller, start by putting the center LED in the location behind the switch panel as shown. Remove the LED from the rubber grommet and install the rubber grommet first, then install the LED. Then, remove the existing switch or switch close off in third position from the left. Put the switch in the third position from the left. Make sure the switch is installed with the light icon on top. Next, put the Bluetooth controller on the outside of the left hand footwell using the push pin rivets. Then attach the wiring using the routing clip as shown. Model Year 20 vehicles will require drilling holes for controller mounting. Reference Instruction Sheet 9939875 for steps and template. 
Start on the passenger side. First, insert the two routing clips into their respective holes. Next, remove the adhesive backing paper from the LED strip. Then, put the LED strip into the footwell. Finally, attach using the routing clip. Then move to the driver's side. After this, put the edge clips in an opening above the steering column so the LED mounts above the visor closeout. Then put the LED strip with the lights facing down and attach using the edge clips. Then insert the routing clip underneath the driver's seat base. Remove the adhesive backing paper from the LED strip. Install the LED by adhering it to the seat base and secure it with the clip. Repeat this step for the passenger side seat. Next, remove the adhesive backing paper and mount the rocker panel LED strip facing down to the frame tube using cable ties. Repeat this process on the opposite side rocker panel. To install the rear interglow harness, begin by plugging in the rear interglow harness connector into the Bluetooth controller connector. Then, put the wiring harness down and to the left-hand frame rail and attach with cable ties. Next, install the wire harness along the frame rail as shown. Then, make sure the wiring harness is routed above the frame components. Finally, attach with cable ties. The harness must be routed entirely before installing the cable ties. Start by working from the back of the vehicle and then forward. Any slack will be located in the footwell. Next, connect the left rear interglow harness extension connector to the driver's seat LED. Clip the harness to the edge clip. The left and right harness extension connectors are different sizes. The left extension harness is shorter and the right extension harness is longer. Then connect the left rear interglow harness extension to the left hand rocker LED. Then clip to the edge clip. After this, insert the left rear interglow harness extension into the cabin through the opening in the bottom of the vehicle. Clip the seat base with the clip. Then connect the right rear interglow harness extension to the right hand rocker LED. Next, Connect the right rear interglow harness extension connector to the passenger seat LED. Next, clip to the vehicle using edge clip. To install the footwell interior light harness, start by connecting the footwell interior light harness. This is the connector closest to the part number tag, to the Bluetooth controller. After this, put the footwell interior light harness plug through the bulkhead along the existing wires. Connect the harness to the footwell LED. Finally, attach with a cable tie. Next, remove the two coolant reservoir bolts and pivot the reservoir out of the way. Then, put the footwell interior light harness along the existing wiring. Finally, attach with cable ties. After this, put the console LED wiring through the bulkhead along the existing wiring. Connect the footwell interior light harness to the console LED. Finally, put the footwell interior light harness through the bulkhead following the existing wiring. Connect the footwell interior light harness plug to the footwell LED plug, attached with cable ties. Then, put the multicolor interior LED harness under the ECM mounting bracket. To install the multicolor interior LED harness, begin by connecting the multicolor interior LED harness to the Bluetooth controller. Put the push dart in the existing hole as shown. Next, put the harness through the bulkhead along the existing wiring. Finally, connect the plug to the rocker switch and attach with cable ties. 
Then reconnect all cables that were removed from the display during disassembly. Next, put the coolant reservoir in place and install screws. Torque to specification. For vehicle reassembly, begin by reinstalling the switch panel and console trim. First, put the switch retainer bezel and switch bezel in place. Next, put the display center in place and install the retained fasteners. Then, put the center console trim in place. Next, install the two retained push pins from the center console trim. To reinstall the upper dash, start connecting the dash tweeter speakers to the main vehicle harness if equipped. Finally, set the upper dash panel in place and loosely install the eight retained screws. Then, Reinsert the two retained center push pin rivets underneath the upper dash. Torque the eight screws to specification. To reinstall the side trim panels, begin by setting the side trim panels in place and loosely installing the two retained screws with the two retained push pin rivets. Then, torque the two screws to specification. Repeat this process for the opposite side. If equipped, reinstall the upper dash painted panels. Put the small end of the panels under the dash and rotate to press the clips into place. To reinstall the mirrors, start by setting the mirror in place and attach with the two mirror mounting screws and torque to specification. Be sure to retighten the adjusted hex bolt. Repeat this process for the opposite side mirror. To reinstall the wind deflector, begin by setting the wind deflector in place and attach it with the retained fasteners. Then, if equipped, install the screw, washer, and O-ring into the center wind deflector mount. Torque the screw to specification. Finally, reconnect the battery by installing the negative battery cable to the battery with the retained terminal bolt. Then torque the specification. Reference the how-to video for directions to pair and control your XK Glow Lights via the app. For more information, contact your Polaris dealer or visit slingshot.polaris.com.